Moni Yakim, the name may not be familiar to you, but a new documentary about his legendary career could soon change all that. Moni has been a Juilliard drama teacher for 50 years now, an original faculty member of the drama department. His colleagues once dubbed him the erratic Israeli, but his world-famous technique gets results. His students have won dozens of Oscar awards, Tony awards, Emmy awards. Here's a look at the new film. He's taught so many people. You know, if you say to any Juilliard student, Moni, <laughs> their eyes sort of get a little bigger and there's a little twinkle. He's the one person who everybody has. And Moni is with me now in studio. Thank you for being here, my Thank friend. Thank you very much for having me. For an unfamiliar audience, how do you describe your class? I mean, you have all of these inexperienced young actors that are full of raw talent. What is it that you do to kind of hone that talent? Well, I don't try to hone it. I try to find out how they can hone whatever they possess themselves. So really, it's an open thing. I hint at something and they come up with the answers. What is it about the physicality that's so important for an actor, whether of stage or, or screen, that you, are, you believe that the power of the body is so important? Well, the body does not never lie. The words do. When I talk to you, I think something different. That's called the subtext, which means the word does not really express exactly what you need to express. What expresses it is the body. So the body is really the express expression that is the subtext. You have been studying this for, for decades. For uh, our audience may not know, you and your wife, you both studied under Marcel Marceau. You are one of the, the world's great mime actors and performers. You studied with the best who's ever done it. Why is that still so important, the art, of, the art of mime, even though it's not popular now, how important is those skill set for an actor? Well, mime has dwindled, unfortunately, because it got a bad rap by people who called themselves mime and didn't understand even what mime was all about. The guys at the in the time. street with the shirt. That's correct. That's not mime. That's not real mime. That's, uh, that's their mime, but it's not the mind that my master conceived at the beginning, Mr. Etienne de Creux, who was the teacher of Marceau and of Shaike Ophir, and myself, I was in his company for five years. And so you also had, you, you taught this to so many students. You in the film, it's, it's remarked that the hands, uh, it's the prostitute of the body. It sells cheap. Actors with their hands in the face, they can do better than that. They should do better than that. That's it's really correct. about the whole body. That's Your classes correct. apparently are exhausting because you're, it's constantly moving around. Constantly moving, but uh, what's more exhausting is that psychologically you have to be one with the express expression of the body, which means it's the whole thing that works at the same time. The mind your feelings and the body are all one organic entity. You're about to start your 51st year of teaching at Juilliard. Why keep going? Why, why keep going uh, past 50 years? Because I love it. I love getting into the class with 18 young people and see what they can do and where they can go and how they can grow. That's a, that's a great, and you, I'm you'll, passionate about you it. still love it, you can see the passion and the energy, you'll keep going as long as you can, right? That's correct, until I drop. <laughs> Not anytime soon, money. What if you had no words? How do you express yourself physically? Working with Moni gave us the ability to strip our inhibitions away and allow ourselves to go as far as we wanted to go as an actor. People didn't really know necessarily how to describe it. You know, it was just that, oh my gosh, get ready, get ready, because Moni's going to kill you, Moni's going to kill you. And there's this feeling of fear. <laughs> because so many students would walk out exhausted, dripping with sweat. You could tell that they had been really tested. You've prepared 
others for the spotlight. He's a true teacher that way. And there's the love that this man has of his work and the evolution of his work and how he has given it to us. Back in studio with Moni. When you watch that, some of the, the biggest names in Hollywood, the most famous and successful actors, Laura Linney, Oscar Isaac, Jessica Chastain, the list goes on. When you see them talk even now about how you helped shape them, how your lessons help them, continues to help them, how does that make you feel? It gives me great satisfaction. And every time I watch them, either in a film or in the theater, all I hope, is that they do good work, <laughs> that's all. It's all about really uh, telling a story in the best way possible. Can you tell from day one who's gonna be a, a great star? Is it luck, is it skill, a combination? I had this pretension at the beginning, but no longer, because I found out that it takes so much more to become a star, not just the talent. There were many talented people that I thought should be stars, and for whatever reason, for many reasons, they have not become. Moni, can I ask you about your Israeli background? You grew up in Jerusalem. You're proud of your Jerusalem roots. Oh, yes. You grew up during the British mandate. How did the, the things you saw, the things you experienced growing up here help your career even to this day? Well, I think, I think it's mainly being very instinctive. And I was very street smart. And I think it helped me in a certain way getting away from the uh, 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 too, being too intellectual and going into the heart of the matter. Not to overthink something. So I something. think it's, um, and that's what I try to convey to my students, it's to bring things from their belly, from their truth, and not just from conceiving it by, uh, uh, with their head. But for you, you grew up seeing violence and, and bloodshed and terror attacks and war growing up in Jerusalem during the British mandate it's a tough upbringing is it hard can someone who goes to Juilliard who comes from a middle class background upper class background even can they understand that do they have that within them they don't need to understand it because the imagination is the main asset of the actor and every actor has good imagination and with the imagination, you can reach anywhere and everywhere. For you, I guess, you talked before about the, the mime, become the, the art of mime, true mime, becoming less popular. Do you think, I mean, you, the name Marcel Marceau, you and your wife, you love mime. Can it come back? Can there be a resurgence for this art form? I don't think there is a need for it. I think a lot, the world changes, people change, uh, the psychology of, of uh, of uh, culture changes. So I think we don't have a need for it. What is the biggest lesson, Moni, perhaps, that you hope that your students take away after spending years with you? The fit, stripping down, the thinking, the pretentiousness, trying to act with their intuition and their belly. Above all else, what's the biggest lesson you hope all of your students carry with them in their life? Find the truth in every work that they do. And Just really seek deeply into the truth of your story, the truth of your character. Do you come back to Israel often? To often. I come every year for three months. Does yeah. it help you for the next year's students? Does it give you energy, clarity? Why absolutely, come back? Absolutely. Absolutely. I come, I swim in this, uh, at the sea, and... Uh, it just re-energizes me. Is it, uh, is it because it's your home? Is it because it's Israel? Is, what is it about being here? Definitely, it's all of that. It's home, it's Israel, it's Shuk Machane Yehuda, it's uh, everything. Uh, an amazing documentary uh, about to come out. Moni, thank you for being with us. If you don't know at home, he's off in two days, flying back to New York to be at Juilliard for his 51st year. You're the only original, you're still teaching. You're the original drama department uh, uh, teacher, still going strong. That's correct. About to start his 51st year.